Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys the cross stitch pattern that I just finished. I know I posted a picture of it, but I wanted to show you the diagram and whatnot because I just purchased my next one. So I'm so excited to try it out. So I need to, there we go. So this one was just the um, first one I did. It was just a very simple chart. I think I cut it at Walmart or Michael's probably Walmart so this is the one that I did and I like it and so um here is the finished product for those of you who probably saw my photos let me see if I can zoom in so here is a little bit of the zoom so you can actually see the stitches I like it because there were a couple times I had to use two different colors. It just makes it, uh, gives it more depth and whatnot. So I'm so excited. So this is, I made this one for my parents. And it says, she, my, my, my mother wanted me to put established in 1983. Because that's the year they were married. Um, the diagram that I have does not give me any letters excuse me numbers it only gives me letters so I had to actually freehand the letters and I think I could have done a little bit better job with three because that looks kind of jacked up a little bit but hey this was my first project so other than that I think I did pretty good on the one nine and eight so yeah so I made this one for my parents and this was the diagram that was used very simple right here it lets you know what color, the name of the color, the symbol that is required, and then how many strands. So the S is the light pink coral one, and you see all those little S's, and that is where that coral color is supposed to be. And that's how it is here in the actual picture. In the finished product so each of these has a different symbol how many strands per symbol and I put a check mark by the ones that I finished and sometimes you'll get this one where it's called it requires for a back stitch a thick back stitch or a thin one depending on how many you use and then this one is the multicolor one where you combine colors and then you have the alphabet for any other additional wording you wanted to put. So I thoroughly enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would. So that is why I purchased another one. I'm again gonna show you guys that here in a minute. So this is and then this is what the back looks like. <laughs> the back looks so messy, so much string left over. So I'm definitely going to have to figure out how to do this a lot more neater in the back because some people are a little anal about that. Um, I would like it to be neater than this. So I definitely want to try to to perfect my technique so I'm not, one, wasting yarn um, and thread. And two, it's just so it'll look neater in the background. Because it's supposed to be kind of like these straight lines here. But like I said, first project, I will learn as I go. So this is the first one that I did and the thread that it came with. Um, and this twig. I don't know how that got in there. Kids. So each thick piece of yarn or thread comes with like six different strands. See? There's three. There's three strands in this one because I already used, obviously, this is used thread. So you would take one or two of these strands, depending on what the diagram tells you to do, and you would put that through your needle. And here is the needle. It's a very small needle, so I'll probably go and get another one just in case I need one. So, okay, so enough with this. So this is the one that I purchased, and I am so excited for this. My friend Daniel, my best friend Daniel, said I was crazy. This is it. Hold on, I gotta pick this up a little bit. Hold on a second. Okay. It's called the Golden Collection. 
It's by Dimensions, and it's Twilight Bridge, Kincaid. It's a famous painting from Kincaid, is the Twilight Bridge. So, I am super excited. So, let's open this baby up. I actually already got these out a little bit, so it tells you the instructions a little bit, how to get started, about the different strands, and working order, and on the back, it tells you actually how to do the stitch, and what it's supposed to look like on the back, which of course you know by my first one that I do not have per perfect vertical lines, I have a mess, <laughs> so I'm definitely going to have to try to do this a lot neater and it has all of this different stitches that it's going to be requiring which is the cross stitch which is the most common stitch the half stitch which is self-explanatory the back stitch this is the only one that i don't know how to do is the coughing stitch which it shows you how to do it but sometimes if I can't really get it just by looking at the diagram I'll just go on YouTube and have someone there show me because YouTube is just awesome all right and then so you open this up and here is the first here is the map the little diagram who in every single one of these squares is a stitch and I think it's a 10 by 10 let's see one one two three two three four five six seven, eight nine ten and then one two three four five six all right maybe that's just the outer one but I think it's a 10 by 10 is from what it says let me see by what it says it's uh it is an 18 count ivory cotton and it's supposed to be fourteen by eleven centimeters inches. Well no, that's the centimeters. Okay. So yeah. Alrighty, so I'm looking at it, so I think it is a 10 by 10 square, so since I've obviously never done one this big, this is only my second project, um, I am going to do it square by square, and you're supposed to start in the very center of your work. So, and here it tells you all the different colors, everything is color coded, it tells you what the symbol for each color looks like how many strands that you will need so this one up here is the cross stitch and the half stitch and then you have the other ones so yeah so this is going to be a project but this is the other half of the picture of the chart so you want to meet in the middle which is going to be you'll probably start with with this square or this bottom square right here, but these two right here are generally in the center. So I'm going to start with one of these. So I've seen a few YouTube videos and some people do it square by square. Literally, they just do it square by square by square. Some people do it by actual color. So like they would take one piece of color thread. As for example, this is from my old project. Say this brown. They would take this brown and that they would do all of the brown stitches all over. I think that's a little too overwhelming, especially for me considering I'm starting and I don't want to miss any stitches because with this one, with my first project, when I was going on with the outline, I noticed that I missed a couple of stitches in my work. Now, obviously you can't tell, <laughs> but I can considering I am the one who made it. So, I'm assuming with uh, something as intricate as this, a missing stitch would be very noticeable. So I think I am just going to go square by square by square. And just keep doing it that way. Now, it doesn't come with a hoop, so I actually am going to have to get my own hoop. So let's see what else is in here. We got 
right, okay. Ooh, all right. That's a lot of um, thread. Woo. Okay. Okay, here's a, what the actual picture is supposed to look like when it's finished. And here is the, the thread all color coded with its unique numbers. And oof, 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 this is a lot. Look at all of this. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Look at this. It's like Rapunzel of thread. <laughs> I'm totally geeking out right now. And what are these? Hold on a minute. These are in their own little... What is this? This is a color code. Oops, this way. Why is it blurry? Okay, so this is a completely different, okay, interesting. I will have to figure this out, because look at this, it's a mess. It just comes all like, oh my god. <clears throat> so, I'm probably definitely going to have to get a couple of uh, these knots out. That's going to be fun. Great. Spend $50, almost $50 on this. You'd think it would come a little bit more organized. Okay, so all this thread. Okay, and then here is the fabric. It's supposed to be 18 inches per school, uh, 18 thread count. Yes, which is, means it's 18 stitches per square I believe that's what that means I could be wrong so this is the fabric so it's supposed to be here, let me see if I can okay so it's gonna this is supposed to be like 14 by 11 uh, inches and stuff like that so it's a it's not extremely soft it is a little hard um but here are the squares hold on i'll try and show you the squares as best i can there we go see these are the little squares little holes so it's not as soft as i probably would have thought um it is softer than this it is softer than my first one let me see if i can actually see a difference in this one and one. Yeah, this is definitely, this is much larger. The squares are much bigger this on this one than on this one. So it does, so I'm assuming the smaller the squares, the softer it's going to be, and the more detailed your work will be. So how you are actually are supposed to find the center in your fabric is, okay, this is, this has got to go somewhere because this is crazy. <laughs> Okay, so how you're supposed to find the center is you're supposed to fold, I'm so sorry, fold in half, like so, and then you're supposed to fold it in half again. Now I'm going to do it more precise when I'm actually getting ready to start my work, but this is just to give you an idea. So you fold it twice and then you're supposed to put your needle through here. Or you're supposed to just press it. I've seen some people just kind of press it like this. Just kind of make a really sharp pinch. So that way when you unfold it, there you go. Right here is where you start. Right here. That is where you start. <coughs> Excuse me. So I am looking forward to this very much. It's gonna take me a while. I think one lady said it took her like nine months to finish it. So, but that is half the fun. It's not supposed to be quick. It's supposed to be nice and slow. So yeah, here's the needle. This is a very, it's a dull needle, so you don't have to worry about it uh, poking you or anything. All right, so there's the needle. And also, when my nieces were over last weekend, 
they, especially my, uh, especially Eva, my niece, she expressed tremendous interest in my work and what I was doing. So I decided to get her a little cross stitching kit for herself, a little Minnie Mouse one. Now this, I looked at it and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, how great would this be for her at her age? Cause it's eight and up and she is 10. She would absolutely love this. And look, it comes with everything. It comes with the hoop, it comes with the yarn, it comes with a little needle for her. She would absolutely love this. And I got another one for her sister, her twin sister. They're identical twins, um, just so they wouldn't have to fight. So I ordered two, but they sent me four. Let's see? So um, I have two extras, so I'm definitely going to have to contact the seller and be like, um, you sent me two extra that I did not order, but, um, yeah, so if they tell me to keep them, I'll probably just end up giving the third one to my nephew, just, you know, I mean, there are men that cross-stitch and crochet and all that, you know, and the other one, if their father or mother wants to do it with them, like my brother and my sister-in-law, then they can do that with her. Obviously, it's going to be with a needle, so she will probably want, they will probably want to be there just to show her how to use the needle. And I don't, you know, so, I don't know. I don't know if I would trust my nephew with a needle, because he is a boy, and you know how boys are. <laughs> so, I am so excited for her for this. They're all Minnie Mouse, so I'm not sure how my nephew would feel about a Minnie Mouse, but, you know, you never know. So, I'm excited. So that's it. So here's my first project, this project that I have for my nieces and nephew possibly, and my Kincaid one that I'm going to be starting on here very soon. I'm going to go get my hoop tomorrow. I've actually heard some people uh, like to use a scroll, so I might do that, but I hear they could be quite expensive. So I'm going to go and price it in person in the store to see how much it is and then if it's the same online or not I don't know so this is what it's gonna look like when I'm all finished so and I will definitely update you with my progress so I'm extremely excited about this so yay so yeah I will be making more videos and uploading my progress and all of that jazz so bye guys <laughs>